Hello students, once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the problem based on osmotic pressure, concentration of solution and molar mass of solute. In problem 1 students, here it is written 300 ml solution at 27 degrees Celsius contains 0.2 mole of non-volatile solute. Calculate the osmotic pressure of the solution. We have to find osmotic pressure. The symbol is given pi. Okay, students, we are going to calculate osmotic pressure of the solution. Here, students, 300 ml solution. It is given in milliliter. We have to convert into liter. And now here it is given in 27 degrees Celsius. We have to convert into Kelvin. Now it is concentration of the solution is given 0.2 mole. 0.2 mole of a non-volatile solute. Okay, students, the so number of moles of non-volatile solute is given. Now here, students, volume is given 300 ml. ML. So you have to convert into liter. You have to divide this 300 ml by 1000. You have to divide 300 by 1000. It will convert into what? Liter. That is, liter is also called as dm cube. So what happens when this zero will cancel with this zero and 3 upon 10 liter, which is nothing but 0 0.3 liter, which you can also say 0 0.3 dm cube. Understanding, students? So this is the volume now we have expressed in liter. Now here students, temperature. Temperature is given in degree Celsius, 27 degree Celsius. We have to convert into Kelvin. So if you add, you know students, 1 degree Celsius equals 273 Kelvin. Understanding? So 273 you have to add with 27. So it will convert into Kelvin. So you will get 300 Kelvin. Once you have converted all the unit, now you have to use the formula for osmotic pressure now wh what else is given students here number of moles is given that is a small n is also given 0.2 mole understanding students now you know the formula since students you are knowing the formula you have to remember the formula of osmotic pressure when these three variables are given at the time what is the rela relation is students with pi you know students pi equals n r t upon v okay students where r is all already you should know value of r value of r will be given to you that is okay students this will be given to you this is the value of r that is called as universal gas constant it will be it is given now this value you have to put here students number of moles is given 0.2 you have to multiply with constant r that is 0.08206 temperature is 300 kelvin volume you have calculated students in 0.3 Okay, students. Now, what happens, students? This is the multiplication, decimal number multiplication, and division of decimal number by 0.3. Now, students, if you want to remove this 0.3, you have to multiply 10 in numerator and denominator by 10. So, this decimal will shift here. So, by multiplying, now it is converted into 2.08206 into 300 upon 3. Okay, students. Now it is converted because we have removed this decimal. So, it is we have multiplied here by 10, this denominator also by 10. Now what happens when this is 3 ones are and this is what? 3 ones are 3, this is 100. Now when you multiply students, when you multiply two, twice of this and multiply by 100, what happens students when you multiply this decimal will shift here. So what happens students 2 into 8.206. When you multiply students, it will come 16.41. Understanding students? 16.41. So this is the answer students because it is the pressure so we have to write in atmospheric so this is the osmotic pressure students we have got the answer 16.41 atmosphere so this way students you can calculate the osmotic pressure this is what two marks questions students in examination they are asking if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you